How's it going, guys? Weefy's here, here, and today we are talking about the best thing that has ever come to humanity, or, or you can't tell me otherwise. It's called YouTube. This place is probably one of the best places that inspired a lot of creators to make content. And make money a living off of YouTube, making like in 20% of people's jobs basically YouTube. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but I'm saying it's a pretty good thing. If you want to do YouTube, uh, do YouTube as your like your full time job, that's okay. But I, but I advise you to actually go to, go to college if you want a better job instead of making videos for money. Yeah, yeah, that's how far we've gone nowadays. So basically, YouTube has been going fucking little down because of all of these freaking drama, this clickbait, and everything. Like, like. You, like, you could barely even slip something, like, clickbait or some YouTuber said, Oh, hey, I got a girl for Fortnite, and, 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 and I found a girl for Fortnite, oh yeah, kill yourself. Welcome to the downfall of YouTube, where everywhere and everyone, if you just want money, and don't care about their viewers, they just want the money. But hey, I mean, I mean it's okay to want the money. I don't know if you're not getting too greedy with it, don't post like clickbait shit like Kali the Boss Baby. But people are still doing that crap. And I, and I thought this trend was dead. But no, no. It, it, people are still, still trying to post that clickbaity trends. Like there's some reason people kept clickbaiting freaking weapons to go into multiplayer like some games. Like it's obviously fake because like they like record this sh screenshot their freaking their freaking like tv screen and then um they like put the image on there they don't even light it up so it looks realistic but then you know the, and then everyone believes them but, but because kids don't know the difference between um realism and um fake favorite videos of her I mean I mean she needs some beats but I thought ah, I'll remix it for her and she can like repost it on her channel and that'd be cool and then so yeah if you enjoyed that then yeah, maybe you can at least give her one subscriber I don't know but then anyways back to the topic these channels like derv like freaking Ruby Rube and all these other clickbait channels are so bad. Like, a freaking extract hub. It's like a futuristic hub 
but everything is just clickbait. I mean, if we feature Instagram, at least she's at least she's actually honest about what's in the video. But but with the Strat Hub, why am I even comparing them with Futuristic Hub? Yeah, is because that hub in the end of your name? Well, anyways, it means because like a strike wants quick babies that say, "Hey, someone about to start drama," and then like nothing happens in the video. Here's an example. They were like, "This is a new map. It's over a freaking bigger island with a freaking arrow sign." That that's a new one. It, it was that they put an arrow sign, that freaking circle. You always need that one to get some specific clickbait. Like, like if it's obviously just so fake. It, you can already tell that it's just so freaking fake. Like it, it's not even funny at this point. It's just straight up dumb. And I have to mention now that they changed her name from Extract Hub to The Countdown. Yeah, 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 sorry I said the name wrong, but don't kill me. Asana Gucci, it's okay to clickbait as long if you're not doing it too much. That's the most outdated excuse you can ever come up with. First of all, it, he clickbaits way too much, and they're too clickbait. Like, like, everyone believes him, and then he, like... He deletes people's criticism saying that it's actually fake because he like blacklists the words from the different comment sections so you don't see like oh I'm on this side or like oh I can't wait because because they're dumbasses. And the plus the only way every clickbait channel is doing that is to avoid um so everyone can think that they actually have a good channel and they actually have something good and like no one and no one dislikes the channel, making them dislike it. Well, yeah. Just imagine making some criticism, saying, without saying blacklisted words, and then avoid, um, you know, getting your comment viewed and removed. <sighs> this, this video is, is not real, and I, I, I don't like it. And, and it's kind of, you're kind of, um, beating people into clocking on your vid. So, um, yeah, hopefully you, you, you will take my criticism serious. Okay, let's see here. So, um... Uh, that's all I had to say, really, but I do want to get one of the mentions out. Like, for some reason, like, you don't, you need a lot of F, like, you can make a lot of effort, like, make a, like, a one hour video debunking all the shit when, um, like, someone can make a freaking, one minute, one minute freaking gameplay video of, like, if, like, freaking, if, like, online voice, Prime Moxie voice was in Fortnite. And gets millions of views. Like, it, like it doesn't sound fair. Cause, to be honest, I'll probably subscribe to the one that actually put work and effort to her video and did these voice clips from some like trolling, trolling Call of Duty funny moments. Yeah. You know, or see, I want to make a trolling like Minecraft trolling videos. And just, I'm gonna talk about why I hate them and why I do. And oh yeah, I, I am about to watch. And if we can, like, if we can, uh, DS, LSD, Mark actually made the FGTV dad video, which actually, I was, I was actually kind of waiting for that, and now I'm pretty excited to watch it, so if you want to, um, if you want to, um, watch that too, you can, you know, type in, in the, in your search bar, it's the freaking LS Mark. Please subscribe to my video, and if you want to see more videos, I'm trying to hit 300 subs.